vitamin B1, thiamine. Free thiamine is a basic substance and contains a pyrimidine and thiazole ring. So, it is a sulfur containing vitamin. Remember that it is not synthesized by the human beings, hence should be taken in the form of diet. So, what are the daily requirements? Adult requires approximately 1 to 1.5 milligrams and children requires 0.4 to 1.3 milligrams and the sources are cereals, grains, beans and meat. And what are the functions of vitamin B1? Vitamin B1 is important for oxidative decarboxylation of keto acids where it acts as a cofactor called as thiamine pyrophosphate. Not only that, it is extremely essential for carbohydrate utilization. So, requirement is absolutely related to the carbohydrate content in the diet. That is approximately 0.5 milligrams of the vitamin B1 is required for approximately each 1000 calories. So, cofactor for transketolase in the HMP pathway is also vitamin B1 that is TPP. So, like this vitamin B1 takes part in the HMP pathway. Not only that, this vitamin B1 is also required for pyruvate dehydrogenase complex because the component 1 called as B1 of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex also requires vitamin B1 that is TPP where pyruvate is converted into acetyl coenzyme A. Now, let us talk about deficiency of vitamin B1. Deficiency of vitamin B1 is most commonly seen in alcoholics, malnutrition such as patients with chronic diarrhea and the deficiency symptoms can be predicted as beriberi and this beriberi is of two types. One is dry beriberi, second is a wet beriberi and sometimes third one can also be seen but it is rare called as mixed beriberi. So, what is the wet as well as dry beriberi? In the wet beriberi, the patient presents with high output cardiac failure where the patient has dilated cardiomyopathy as well as edema especially seen in the lower extremity and later this edema can be seen all over the body. And what is a dry beriberi? Dry beriberi presents with neurological manifestations like polyneuritis and symmetrical muscle wasting. And one important syndrome what we will see in the thiamine deficiency is the Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome which occurs from thiamine deficiency and it is the combined presence of Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. So, what is Wernicke's encephalopathy? So, Wernicke's encephalopathy is characterized by ophthalmoplegia and involvement of the sixth cranial nerve most commonly, ataxia as well as confusion. And Korsakoff syndrome means it is characterized by retro and anterograde amnesia and confabulation. And this is about Wernicke's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. And this vitamin B1 deficiency can cause lactic acidosis mainly because of pyruvate dehydrogenase dysfunction where accumulation of pyruvate is converted into lactate can cause lactic acidosis. And the deficiency is diagnosed by RBC transketolase activity in the blood. Now, let us concentrate on important points what we need to remember about vitamin B1. In the Korsakoff syndrome, mammillary bodies are affected. And in the Korsakoff syndrome, where it responds to thiamine but not Korsakoff psychosis, which is usually neurological squealy of Wernicke's encephalopathy. And TPP, which is a thiamine pyrophosphate, acts as a cofactor for pyruvate dehydrogenase and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. TPP as well as magnesium ions act as a cofactors for pyruvate decarboxylase. And all these are the extra high points what we need to know about vitamin B1.